Okay, so this is the 12 days of this Christmas challenge. For the 12th day of Christmas, you're going to need some cushions. If you haven't got cushions, then folded hand towel or folded big towel will do to give you some height under your head. You're going to start laying on your back for single leg stretch. Now, single leg stretch has got several options to it. You can either slide your leg along the floor, you can do a low level here, or you can come up into tabletop and do one of our three levels from tabletop. There's only six on each leg. Three, four. So you just pick one level and you do all 12. Make sure your tummy is down, you're imprinting the spine. I've lost count now. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's 10 or 12. I'll do two more just in case. Don't anyone telling me that I haven't done enough and make me do the video again. So that's your 12. Make sure you come out of the exercise properly. 11 is tricep dips or dolphins. You can either do your tricep dips here, bending the elbows for level one, tapping your bottom to the floor for level two, keeping your bottom in the air for level three, or dolphins for those of you who can't support your weight on your, elbow, on your wrists. You've got down here for your lower option, make sure you're keeping the towel tucked under. And for those of you who can, you've got the straight leg option, pushing down in the heels here. So we've got 11 of these. I'm going to do the tricep dips. So the top option on the uh, wrist is here. We've got 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and Then we're going straight into curl ups. So for curl ups, you can either have the feet on the floor, you can have your legs in the tabletop, or for the top level, you can have straight legs here. The hands are behind the head, the elbows are wide, and you've got 10 curves. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hug your knees into your chest, bring the legs down one at a time. For nine, you've got nine shoulder bridges. So if you've got towels or cushions under the head, make sure you've got slightly less padding under the head to protect the neck. Feet are nice and close into the bottom. Those of you who normally do this on a big ball, you can have your feet on a chair, so your feet are supported here, um, or um, the sofa is fine. Otherwise, feet are on the floor, feet and knees hip distance apart, and you've got nine of them. So you breathe in, breathe out and tuck, squeeze, open the chest, breathe in the top, and then come back down. And there's eight more of those. Now, so you can go a little bit slower with these if you want to. I'm just trying not to make it too boring for you to watch. That's five. your chest. You've got eight clans on each side. You've got two options for the clans. The lower option is keeping your feet on the floor and opening the knee. Top option is to have both feet in the air and open the knee from there. So we've got eight on this side. You should feel this working to the side of the bottom. Make sure the hip doesn't fall forward. Keep this shoulder open. Seven push-ups. So those of 
if you can't do push-ups on the floor, you can go up against the wall um, and do your arms wider than your body. On the floor, your lowest option is with your knees under the hips. Middle option is with the pelvis tucked and top option is straight legs. I'm going to make sure you can pop it by keeping my knees down. So we've got seven of them. Preferably without a break if you can. Make sure, sure that your tail is tucked and that you don't stick your bottom out. Lost count again. I think this is seven. Just in case I'm going to do one more. And then sit back. Stretch. Give your arms a shake. If you need a little uh, tricep stretch, then just press on the elbows. Six, six is teasers. So you've got either three on each leg of the single leg option. So your arms are above your head. Lowest option would be here. You can always keep the head on the floor if you need to. Next option would be from straight legs, coming to 45 degrees. Next option would be to straight legs here. And if you're doing any of those options, it's three on each leg to make six. If you can do four teaser, you're doing six of those. I'm going to include that as one of my six. Two. Three. I don't want you lifting your legs up if you can't bring them up safely, so I'd rather do three on each leg as an easier option for the team. And this is my sixth one. I'll take a stretch at the end of that. And then we've got five seated spine stretch. So if you need to sit on the block, you can. Sit under your bottom and then have the legs straight out in front. You can always pad out the back of your knees with the cushions at the if you need to. You want to make sure you're sitting up nice and straight. So you've got five of these. Curving through the upper back. Going forwards. Make sure you open the chest at the top. So you can do this on your elbows. You 
can have a tuck in a quarter plank, a half plank, or a full plank, or you can do the half plank or the full plank on your wrists, or those, you remember there's a few of you that like the upside down plank that can be done with a straight leg, um, or one leg straight. You've got 30 seconds. I've got, oh, I'm gonna do this on my elbows. So three, two, one. So shoulders down, tail tucked. If you are on straight legs, make sure you're pushing the heels backwards. Shoulders down. You're holding this for one solid 30 seconds if you can. Maybe you can whisper the knees down if it gets too much. I stopped the timer. I've no idea how long I've been going on for. How, why has it stopped? Oh no, it's fine. We've got 10 more seconds. I thought I was going to do it all over again. Oh, five seconds to go. Three, two, one. And relax. Take a little stretch. And that is the 12 days of Christmas. Enjoy!